All right, guys, I got a little bit interrupted there, but I went ahead and got these belts off here, and I'll show you what you got to do. I'll try to make this quick because I might get interrupted again. But for the air conditioner, the next one in, you have a bolt right up here at the top. It's not easy to see, uh, but it's just right one single bolt right down in there <clears throat> and faces this way. I think it's a four, uh, 12 or a, I think it was a 14. It faces this way, you loosen that up, and then. Yeah, you come down here and you got to get this shield out of the way. The whole big shield's got several 10 millimeter bolts that hold it on. You just take those loose and you just kind of fold it out of the way. And then down here at the bottom, the bottom, this is the bottom of the air conditioning compressor. You've got two bolts right there. You see them right in frame and you just loosen those up. Um, they're about 14s, loosen them up. And this right here, you need to pay attention to this thing here. See. This little deal that's got like a threaded rod and it's got a little thing at the end right there. How this works is you loosen these up somewhat to they're just a little bit loose and you take a 10 millimeter wrench and you start unloosening that thing there that looks like a five sided whatever. You loosen that up and that extends this bolt and pushes this compressor in and that's how you take the belt off. It's pretty self explanatory once you get started on it. And the alternator, like I said, I had to work while my visitor was here, so kind of went ahead of you. But anyway, you got a 14 millimeter bolt, uh, excuse me, nut right there. You loosen that up, and then you come up to the top, and you look down in here, you've got another one of those adjuster bolts whatever kind of setup you want to call that, I got an adjuster bolt. You loosen that one up, that's a 12 right there in the center of the frame. And then back here, you can't see it, but on the other side of this bracket, uh, back on the other side of there, there's a nut right there. It's also a 12 and you got a bit of contortion. Get you, you can kind of reach your hand way up under the carburetor and the manifold and come back over to it and loosen that. And you just push the alternator that way and you get the belt right off. And here's the two belts. This is the, uh, here's the old one on the left and the new one on the right. And you see, sure enough, they were the wrong ones. So, I don't know. I have no explanation for that. All the trouble to get in to replace the alternator belt and you put the wrong one on? Seriously. I'll tell you something else. I've been finding, uh, oh, well, I had to take, got this out of the way too. This helps you. You got two little screws all that on right here to the crew that helps you get some room right there but i've been finding random bolts and stuff missing or loosened uh on a whole on this entire side of the car under here i, I even found one of the the uh the k-member bolts the, the engine cradle bolts backed out on this thing so they were trying to you know i guess they was doing this job for the alternator I really had no clue what to take off so they just started loosening things up as they found them. But anyway, that's how you do it, guys. You just, that's how you do a belt replacement job on these. I couldn't find this anywhere on the internet. So, of course, you start back the opposite order. You put the alternator on first, alternator water pump, put it on first, make sure it's in the right grooves, lined up, and uh, start tightening back up. You tighten, the first thing you tighten is that bolt, that's, that's that nut that's on this digester. And once you get it tight, you finish up and tighten that one. That's the 12 meter mouth that cinches it down, keeps it from moving. And go on the bottom, do your 14 that's on the bottom of the alternator. Next thing you do is you move back to the air conditioner, which is this belt here. Put the air conditioner belt back on. Use that little thing I showed you down there, that 10 millimeter adjuster, and tighten, draw the alternator back out tight. Once you have it tight, tighten all the two 14 millimeter nuts down there come up here and tighten this single 14 up here on the top of the compressor. And the last one you'll do is the power steering, and it's pretty easy. You got a pulley right there on the very outside of the crankshaft pulley. Put the belt back on, put it up here. Uh, move it back around. You may have to use something to kind of push, carefully push the power steering pump back tight so the belt's tight, lock it down. That's it. It's more difficult to do with than a uh, and a serpentine belt by of a good margin, but that's just how it is on these old cars. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna finish this work up. See you in a little bit.